Today I want to talk about some buttons. These are vintage Return of the Jedi photo buttons from Adam Joseph Industries. And these would have been released around 1983, right after the release of Return of the Jedi, most likely. These are the kind of buttons that you would have seen quite often in sort of the 70s and 80s. They were pretty popular. I mean, not as not everyone was wearing them or anything, but they weren't unusual to see on people's jackets or bags or things like that. And so it was not at all surprising that uh, they would be released for a popular movie like Return of the Jedi. So what we have here is actually a full retail box of these buttons. It would have been sent like this in shrink wrap to a store. In fact, I got this shrink wrapped originally, but I've opened it since then. And uh, it would have, as I'll show you in just a second, opened up into a kind of a display box. On the side, we have these uh, various characters here, and you might be tempted to think that this is a preview of what the buttons themselves look like, but no, these really don't have anything to do with the actual buttons. I'm not sure why they chose to put these pieces of artwork on the side, but in any case, if we open up the box, we can see that uh, it has kind of a flap here and a thing that pops up here. And so if we just fold this back into the back, it turns into a nice little display box, which is really handy, especially if you're a collector, you can just put this on a shelf and it looks pretty cool. Inside, we have a heck of a lot of buttons. In fact, there are, from what I understand, 144 buttons. That's 12 uh, of each design. So there's 12 designs and uh, 12 examples of each design. So that's, yeah, a lot of buttons. I don't know what these would have sold for originally, but I'm guessing maybe between 50 cents and a dollar, something like that, I just just as a guess. And uh, I thought, you know, first of all, we might as well just go, to, go through here and see what the different designs were, and uh, then we'll talk about them a little bit. So we have, the first one is Return of the Jedi, the logo for the film. These are quite large buttons, as you may be able to tell. I guess maybe two inches in diameter. So they would have uh, made quite a statement if you put them on your clothing, for sure. Here we have the first Jabba's Palace character, Max Rebo. We have the sort of poster artwork there, or at least part of it. And you can see this part here with Luke and Vader fighting is re reproduced there. We have the gang on Endor. Next is the Gamorrean Guard, which is an interesting, an interesting one that, you know, people would have wanted to wear essentially a green pig on their clothing. Uh, is it, It's it's funny to think about. I, you know, I, I have several Gamorrean Guard collectibles that I just, you know, as a Jabba fan, I think they're wonderful, but I, I just wonder what the average person would have thought at the time that they came out. Um, we have a baby Ewok here, which is kind of an interesting choice. I would have thought that they would have put uh, Wicket on there, because he was certainly the most popular of the Ewoks, but uh, no, they chose this slightly creepy-looking baby Ewok. Now, who knows what a baby Ewok is called, anyone? That's right, a Walkling. Walkling. So that's half of them. We've got six... And then next up we have Chewbacca with his bowcaster. We have a Gamorrean, nope, not a Gamorrean guard, a royal guard or imperial guard. There's also Yoda. I'm not entirely sure if that's actually from Return of the Jedi or if it's uh, Empire Strikes Back. It looks, if I had just seen that by itself, I would have said Empire. We have uh, Darth Vader. That's a cool one. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, two more. Let's see, one more. What are we missing? Well, I was saving the best for last. Oh, here we go. We also have the droids by themselves on Endor, so... These two buttons are kind of similar looking. In fact, at first I thought they were the same, but they are not. And finally we have 
Jabba himself, which is, of course, my favorite. And this is one of my favorite uh, images of Jabba as well. It's a nice one. So that is our 12 buttons there. 12 button designs. I have a couple of things related to these buttons, too, in addition to the buttons themselves. Uh, Rolf Schultz, a German company, released some buttons that are basically the same design. If you look here, <laughs> if I hold it like this, they look like they're about the same size, but no. They are way different in size. The German ones here, Rolf Schultz ones, are, mm, boy, they're about an inch, I guess, as opposed to two inches, so quite a bit smaller. Rolf Schultz, I don't know, I think I only have the Java-related ones. I'm not sure what their entire lineup was like, but they also had a Gamorrean Guard there, you see, although the uh, the Adam Joseph one you can see has sort of the sail barge in the background, whereas this one it's been, whoops, airbrushed out, and I've dropped it on the floor. There it is. There we go, and finally, instead of Max Rebo in the Adam Joseph one, we have the whole Rebo band, but it's in kind of the line art version, which is kind of interesting. In addition to those, I also have a very interesting piece of sort of behind the scenes, um, I don't know, documentation or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this here is what you call a proof sheet that is uh, sort of unused buttons, I guess you'd say. Button th you know, these were used to sort of um, check the design during the design process. But you may recall, or you may recognize here, that uh, a number of these designs are not what we ended up seeing in the final buttons. And I'm not entirely sure if these were an al alternate version that they were planning, or if this was maybe like a uh, round two that they were planning that they never actually released. But in any case, these are, uh, many of them, very different from the ones they actually did release. So we have here, um, Vader is the same, obviously, but we have Jabba and Leia, which is a, would have been a really cool button. We have Han Solo, uh, this interesting image of a stormtrooper. We have Salacious Crumb, which would have been nice. And then the same one of the guys on Endor, we have Beedo, which is Greedo's cousin, and uh, I don't remember what the name of this character is supposed to be, but a Jawa. We have Boba Fett, a close-up of, of Slave Leia. We have the same Jabba and the same uh, Chewbacca there, but we also have a different version of Max Rebo. So, I don't know, I just thought this was an interesting thing. You know, it kind of makes you think about what would have been if they had released th these instead. Which do you guys prefer? As a Jabba fan, I definitely prefer this because there's a lot more, you know, Jabba's Palace-centric uh, buttons. But, you know, for the typical viewer, perhaps things like, you know, just the logo or whatever would have been a bit more accessible and, and probably would have sold more, and maybe that's why they decided to go that way. Well, anyway, I just thought I would uh, introduce these to you all. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, if you're my age, or maybe it's a trip into the past if you're younger, and uh, I'll see you again soon.